Hey, what's up guys? Peter Diaz here, owner of El Father AE86, coming at you today with a unboxing, unpackaging video. Something new that I picked up for my AE86 hatch. Uh, something that I, I've been wanting for a while, just never got around to it. Uh, now's the time. So, hope you like what you see. If you enjoy, click like, click subscribe, uh, and hope you enjoy the content. So, as you can see here, you got two really well packaged items that just came in the front door. I just decided to slide them into the living room, didn't feel like dragging them down to the basement or the garage because both are a mess right now. So, this would be the most room I could work with anyway. But, really, really incredible job just with the packaging, protecting them. Yeah, really well just set up. These things, like I said, came on a long trip from Malaysia from our friend at uh, Rola Resources. So I'll start cutting them open. So I'll start the process of carefully cutting this open. Make sure I don't cut into what's underneath. But there's just layers and layers. like what's coming up first is the back. Want to be careful to not cut into the package in your room. There's the first piece, set of Vaccaro LX series, fishnets, headrests are probably in one of these, oh headrests are right here. Like what you see my love? I think my love proves. look like all out of the packaging with the headrests on them. Now we'll get the bottoms up. So there you have it. It's a new set of uh, Recaro LX seats thanks to Roller Resources in Malaysia. Original condition. They were refreshed. I had him put that black stripe up there just because the original Recaro was worn out. So I just wanted to refresh it up a bit but everything else is original. Just waiting for a seat rail from Battle Garage. I will bolt those in. Stay tuned. So seat rail from Battle Garage came in. Along with the uh, RO Bride Brid. I'm not sure. How you say it depending on where you're from. But got a new set here. Now you're gonna clean up the threads on these, the mounting holes. Picked up the hardware yesterday at a local hardware store. And now we're gonna put them together. On these particular Recaro fishnets, a total of six bolts, six holes per each, or for each bottom. So you got the one here, one there, 
And this is the front. This is the front of the seat. And then, I think I'll be able to do this one-handed. But you got another one back here. So I chased the threads with an M6 tap and then just went to a local hardware store, bought some M6 screws, lock washer, flat washer, and just stacking them up, tighten them tight. Next step on the bottoms is to put on these side covers. Line up like so. Put that spacer on and the screw gets installed and tightened up. So I'll do that to each side. Once the side covers are on both sides, like that. and we're just gonna line up that pin with this one and just swing the back on and it'll all clip together. Now that it's been assembled, top to the bottom, retaining clip put in, the screw tightened up. Next step is we'll pop the covers on to the sides, clip them in, and then we'll uh, install the adjustment knob. That's it. Uh, what it looks, that's what it looks like when it's all together. This is the adjustment knob for the back. See that there, frame, the seat rail is bolted on, and back is ready to go. If you're sitting in the back, you need to release it, you lift that up, drops forward, and drops back. Now to install it into the car. We're currently in the car, I got the JDM seats, I believe these are Zenkis if I'm not mistaken. Uh, because they don't have the pronounced pattern on the side, but they are the JDM versions. Really clean overall. I, I mean, this is just how I got them originally. And uh, I was able to get the new back. And they still sell those in Japan. Unfortunately, they don't sell them for what their passenger, our driver side is. But overall, really cool, uh, good set that I picked up off of Tony J spec. So... I'm still going to keep these. These will be going into my wife's coupe build. But in the meantime, now, next steps, I got to take off the JSP cup holder. Move that up because then I, I don't have enough room to get to the bolts. But I'm going to bolt the four bolts and uh, bolt the Vicaros in and see how they come out. So here's the seat all installed. You can see it's perfect fit with the bride seat rails. Looks good. Pretty much comes up to where the factory seat came up to. Just overall good fit. I'm really happy with the way it looks with the black and gray interior. Not too far of a stretch from the factory seat. Just really happy with the overall look. You gotta finish putting it back together. And the, seat, the other seat rail should be here this week so I can finish the, the install. But for now, you pretty much get how it goes together. Hope you like it. If you like what you see, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, share. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you think. If you have any questions, just uh, shoot them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Peace.